Listen, Miranda. This is with your mother. So, um, from one half, raised to x equals 32. Now, this is going to be a pretty difficult problem because if you guys think about this in positive numbers, which you're so used to, you'd say, if I keep on multiplying one half, one half times one half is one fourth. I keep on getting smaller numbers, right? So there's a problem. How am I going to get to a bigger number? Negative. That's when negative exponents come into play. Now, remember, guys, whenever we're dealing with logarithms, I do not want you guys... Logarithms get very confusing, especially when we're dealing with fractions. We don't want to deal with logarithms as fractions. We want to deal with the negative exponent. All right? So there's a couple ways I could rewrite this problem. Um, a couple things I could do. One thing is you guys need to know that 1 over 2 raised to the x is the same thing as 1 to the x over 2 to the x. Well, 1 raised to any number is going to be what? 1. 1, right? So really, this equals 1 over 2 to the x. Well, I don't want to ever have my number as a fraction. So I could write this as a, number, as a whole number as, I'm sorry, 2 to the negative x. You guys have to know this property. If you don't know the property, memorize it. Okay, know all those variations. All right, if you guys don't understand that, memorize it, okay? Anytime you have one over x, you can rewrite that as x to the negative one. Whenever you have x to the negative one, you can rewrite that as one over x. Whenever you have one over x to the negative one, you can rewrite that as x to the one. Memorize that. Whenever the exponent goes up, it's the negative goes away. Sorry? Whenever the exponent goes up, then the negative goes away. Right, exactly. You don't put in so therefore, I rewrite this as a negative 2x. So I have, or sorry, a 2 raised to the negative x. So I have now have 2 to the negative x equals 32. Now using, now thinking of it this way, by using my inverse properties, can I rewrite 32 as a base 2? Yeah. And the answer is yes, I can. I can write this as 2 to the negative x equals 2 to the fifth power. Now, my 1 to 1 properties cancel out. Negative x equals 5. x equals a negative 5. And there you go. Yes? Can you put this line up there? 